In a new era of cyber warfare, lawmakers on Capitol Hill are scrambling to find ways to beef up security. And they say that starts with the nation's most vulnerable, our cities, who are often the targets of these attacks. Our Washington correspondent Raquel Martin talks with lawmakers pushing a plan to help. These attacks are occurring as we speak. It's, it's relentless. With the threat of cyber warfare only growing stronger, Michigan Senator Democrat Gary Peters and Ohio Republican Senator Rob Portman say it's time the U.S. strengthen its defense from the bottom up. What the attackers look for is the weakest link. Uh, where our job has to be to strengthen all those weakest links. Increasingly, foreign hackers are targeting businesses and local governments across the country and holding their computer systems hostage. Last month, the city of Baltimore suffered $18 million in damages after hackers seized their systems. And just this week, the town of Riviera Beach, Florida, agreed to pay nearly $600,000 in ransom after a similar attack. Think of the electricity system, think of uh, our utilities. Portman says these breaches pose a significant threat to public safety. And a 2016 survey shows nearly a third of cities have outdated technology. Says we need to all be working together in a coordinated way. The senators are pushing a plan to try to boost communication between the Department of Homeland Security and local governments. They say it'll help local agencies exchange valuable information and tips to fight off attacks. We think that the federal government should be doing this anyway. This is going to be a long-standing relationship. It's going to be a robust relationship. Peters and Portman say they expect the plan to pass the Senate soon. It'll then move on to the House. In Washington, I'm Raquel Martin.